Hey everybody, you can see up there this is sort of an HD video review and I guess you could say recommendation for um, certain DVDs that I have and certain people like Sean McLean, Zarek Nizarak and David Bunch and others and many others out there probably have access to or, or um, own, if you will, by right. Shut the door to the room where the bird is. He makes a lot of noise. But anyway, these are basically HD, sort of upgraded reviews, video reviews, just like I do with my Transformer stuff and everything, uh, of movies that I want to recommend and review. I've talked about these before, but I'll talk about them again. Um, this here is the official. This isn't torrented or anything. This is DVD fabbed. But this is G.I. Joe Resolute, and to anybody out there, like say Zara Nizarak, David Bunch and Numbers, whoever, I, I'd highly recommend buying this. I mean, this is G.I. Joe for the for grown-ups. This is basically like, hey, you grew up with G.I. Joe as a kid, guess what, here's G.I. Joe now for you at a grown-up age. And you can tell that it's got the rating. I had... I, I had to cut the rating off a little bit, but you can see it's got the it's got the rating right there. So it's 14. It's definitely not for kids. Yeah, as I can tell you that. And originally, yeah, I think it was on a part of Adult Swim when it came out. It was part of Adult Swim, um, on Cartoon Network, and it was a web series. And they just finally brought it out. It's really good. I'll tell you this: the animation is great. It's really good. I highly recommend anybody, like I say, Zara Nizarek or somebody, pick this up when you can. It is worth it. Speaking of DVDs that need to probably get an upgrade in cover, but so far okay. Um, by the way, if anybody knows how I can find a full season season set cover DVD cover online, let, let me know. I'd be appreciative of it. But one I really think is highly underrated and overlooked, and believe it or not, Sean Zeranizarak, you live in Canada. I don't know if you know about this. Uh, novel series, which this is based on, but I'll tell you this, you watch the, you watch the animated series, and I saw it when uh, Toon Disney brought it out uh, on their channel, and it aired around early in the morning, like 4, 30, 5, 30, something like that. But I'm talking about, of course, Silver Wing. Silver Wing, of course, is a very, it's based on the uh, novels bit, uh, done by Kenneth Oplin. Uh, the animation, oh my god, the animation is so well done, the voice acting for the characters is great. Uh, it's definitely worth picking up if you can. As a matter of fact, uh, if anybody wants to know, go to Amazon.com. I think you can find one or two left somewhere. But it's very, very well done. It's on two disc. On two disc, and right there, there they are. Disc one and disc two, and um, yeah, this is a blockbuster two disc uh, case. As you could tell, it wasn't really in good condition, but it's worth it. And right there are the episodes that are on there for for the set on both discs. Again, it's a very good series. It's uh, it's very uh, underrated in my opinion. I think people need to watch this series and check it out uh, when they can. They need to check this thing out. It's really really good. Um, so yeah. And if anything deserves a feature-length film based on their series, whether it's a novel series or whatever, it's this. And then, let's talk about something that I talked about previously in another video. And I re showed this in my Transformers DVD and stuff, but this is highly recommended. And it's for anybody that does not have access, does not have this yet, Zero Nice Rack, I don't know if you have it yet. Uh, but I plan to complete the collection next month with Victory and Master Force. Well, I know you have it, but you have the uh, version from overseas. But I'm talking about the Japanese collection of Transformers Headmasters released by Shout Factory, I think, earlier this year. I think earlier this year. I'm not really sure. So, yeah. So it's got a slipcover, as you can see, 
and they did a really nice job. They do put English subtitles so you know uh, what they're talking about. But the subtitles describe the characters as their Japanese names. And there you can see the disc right there. It's very, very well done. And the artwork, you got cover art, of course, as you can see. Ooh, didn't want to do that, but yeah, you got cover art, you got a, a listing of the episodes of which episodes on which disc. They kind of messed up a little bit, I think, on some of them, not much. And then, of course, you got the advertisements for the other releases. And this is before Mask came out. I think this was last year. No, this was last year, actually. It says Fall 2011, so I have had this since last year. I just haven't completed it yet. Hopefully, by next month, I'll complete it. But, yeah, I'm going to try to complete it finally with Master Force and, um, and Victory, which I think took a while just to go, to get out. And um, then, of course, I'm going to get this as well. So I'll have the Rhino and the Shout Factory sets. But, yeah, Japanese, the, the Japanese version of, of Transformers uh, Headmasters is definitely worth something to uh, pick up when you can. Uh, you can tell right there that it says something right there. So... And it come, and all the discs basically clock in together. Four D, it's a four DVD set, so it clocks in at about eleven hour, uh, thirteen hours, as it says. But it's definitely worth picking up if you have not obtained it yet, just just yet. And of course, then next we have. Um, But of course, next we have this. I got this. My mom actually bought this for me uh, at Walmart a couple of weeks ago because I've been helping her out with the homework and cable and stuff. Now, Zeranax Rack, I saw you a recent video where you said you obtained the Blu-rays of these, and that's great. But I think maybe if you would have looked a little at other areas, not just at your job. No offense, though. No offense if you bought them at your job because, honestly, I used to do the same thing. When I was at Walmart, I'd get a discount and everything. But Walmart, speaking of which, actually was selling this for only $10. The double feature of Superman and Batman movies, Public Enemies, and Apocalypse. Yeah, both for uh, $10. It was on sale. And, yeah, you can see right there. And then you open up, and of course it's got, of course it's got the uh, little code for the, um, for so you can download it onto an iPod or whatever iPad. But yeah, there's the disc for Apocalypse. These are actually the actual disc. There's the disc for Apocalypse right there, and then on the back you have Public Enemies. I know you're thinking that you should have put Public Enemies first in Apocalypse, but what are you gonna do? Uh, but yeah, for ten dollars you can't beat that. Two movies at once, kind of connecting together. But yeah, so if anybody's looking to obtain both movies, I highly recommend doing it like this. Find this, and you'll have both at the same time. And then of course, we can't do a video, an HD video upgrade review or recommendation without talking about the Shout Factory release of Gem. Now this is what I was talking about uh, in my quality versus quantity video. Gem is actually spread out over essentially 10 discs for the series. 10 discs for the series. And that's about quality, not quantity. Uh, like I said, if Mill Creek would have obtained this, these would probably be all three discs. These, these four discs deal, deal would have been three discs and maybe that would have been two. You get my point. But yeah, this is the box set. Uh, I got it off um, Amazon.com when it came out. You know, it cost me about 50 something, but you know, it's pretty cool. It's an 11-disc set. The 11th disc is actually, I think, full of bonus features, I believe. And it's all the seasons before they... It's all the seasons. 
basically put together. Um, what it was is that, just like they did with Transformers, and I'm sure they did with G.I. Joe, they did release the seasons individually on their own. But if you got this when it came out at the same time uh, Season 1 did, then you didn't have to worry about getting the other seasons. You had them all right there. See, this came out when they brought out Season 1, the first volume. So, and as you can see right there, it's very nice, very shiny, as you could tell. And of course, a nice box set part right there. And then of course, here we have Season 1. The bonus feature is a video jukebox, all the music videos within. We have Season 1. It's on four discs. All displayed as records. Or, yeah, basically designed to look like records, if you will. Purple records in this case. And then you got the artwork in the background and um, some information like special thanks and who produced it and everything. Brian Ward, of course, who everybody knows did the Sonic, help with the Sonic one when they had the license to that. That's pretty cool right there. And then here is season two, right here. And again, designed just like records. Artwork in the background with a listing of episodes on the disc. As you can see, uh, they did a very well, very good job on this. There's no doubt about that. So, yeah. And again, the bonus feature is um, jukebox, video jukebox. So, pretty cool. This came out last year. I think they still have it. I'm not really sure. If not, well, <laughs> good luck trying to get them individually, which you probably can. And then here's season three. Right here. And, of course, the exclusive bonus disc. And, of course, the bonus feature is video jukebox. And then, of course, you got the bonus disc, which includes all those extras, which is three brand new retrospect featurettes, original commercials, animated storyboards, writer's Bible, and rare DVD ROM material, and more. But again, that's season three. And, um, yeah. And then, of course, the third one is the bonus disc with the uh, bonus material. So essentially, you got 10 discs worth of, of gems spread out um, on, you know, on this box set, which is a very good box set. I don't know if it's gone down in price. I seriously doubt it. But again, it's, I highly recommend buying this if you can still get it off Shout Factory. I'm pretty sure if you can get it off Amazon or somewhere get it it's worth having right then and there and I think I think um, if you buy the, the seasons individually I think they said they do sell the the boxes of the, slip, the box slip cover uh, individually uh, the total running time for all um, all 10 discs and I think even the bonus features is 25 hours so essentially if you want to do a gem marathon you see if you want to start right now which is like at 11 o'clock you wouldn't be done until 11 o'clock tomorrow if you wanted to do a marathon, so, or even 12 o'clock tomorrow, so. But yeah, these are basically the DVDs I highly review, I, I, so basically that's been my upgraded HD video review of, of, um, of DVD, my HD, I should, I, you'll see the title up there, probably say HD DVD reviews and recommendations, Asians or something like that, so yeah, definitely. Uh, pick these up if you can because I mean it's definitely worth it. Ten dollars for like a double feature with Batman and Superman. I mean, what more can you ask for? Uh, Silver Wing again, very highly underrated. Definitely check that out. And Sean, you being in Canada, I think you'll have better access to this than I would. I got it through Netflix. 
you guys want both movies of Batman and Superman, definitely go with the double feature. If you're a G.I. Joe fan, definitely check this out. Definitely. This is worth it. This is worth it right here, folks. Resolute. And of course, if you're a Transformer fan uh, and you want to see how G1 originally continued in Japan as it was, here you go right there. So, And of course, Gem as well. Try to get the, my recommendation, get the box set if you can. But that's all I could say. Uh, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Video response if you like. And I'll talk to you all later.